Good morning, fellow cruise fans, and welcome to another Sunday Brunch edition. It is the 24th of October, 2021. Got a couple of new cruise stories for you, a little recap of what's going on for the week, and we're going to get into all of it right after this. Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video and thank you everybody for joining us here on a Sunday morning. So this past week, you know, it's been pretty quiet in the cruise news, not a whole lot of stuff going on, which of course I continue to say is a positive. No news is good news and the news we have had has been good. Nothing negative is going on, nothing bad is happening. Yes, there was one canceled cruise in Singapore due to a positive COVID-19 test, but you know, they have different health and safety protocols. They're doing basically cruises to nowhere. And yes, they canceled an entire cruise over one positive test amongst a crew member. But that of course is about the only negative thing I even heard this week. Now, yesterday, the port of Seattle has completed its 2021 cruising season with the departure of the Norwegian Encore from port. And it was a really short Alaska cruise season this year. They started on July the 19th. However, they still managed to get through 82 different cruise stops, 230,000 passengers. And of course, this is all contributed to the health and safety protocols that were put into place. Shows that they worked. They were able to get passengers on board get them to Alaska, get them back, get them disembarked, no issues, no problems. Again, positive cruise news. And now they will start the process of preparing for next year's Alaska season, which should begin towards the end of April in 2022. Viking Cruise Lines has begun to sail from Port Everglades down in Florida. Back on October the 20th, the Viking Orion set sail from Port Everglades. And on November 6th, they're going to be joined by the Viking Star, which means more cruise choices, more cruise options. Now, of course, Viking is a much more luxury level cruise lines. But hey, if you don't want to sail on a regular cruise lines and you want that special luxury cruise, well, now you're going to have the option of Viking Cruises out of Florida as another option to choose from. Now, here this past week, we also saw where the cruise lines have pretty much all of Carnival Corporation, Royal Caribbean Group have all changed their vaccination statuses and now are allowing mixed vaccines, which of course is positive news, particularly for our cruisers out of Canada, where a lot of them had mixed vaccines. That's how their government distributed their vaccines up there. It's not like they went and pick and choose to get different ones. That's what they were given. But now the cruise lines are going to allow the mixed vaccines the CDC has approved it, said they are considered fully vaccinated. Now they can come on down here to the United States and get on cruise ships and enjoy cruising We're here with the rest of us. So again, super positive news this week. And finally, I did read a story this week, and while it does not currently affect cruising, it is something that we need to keep an eye on here in the coming future. So the CDC said in the future, the definition of fully vaccinated may change with the introduction of the booster shots. So that means there is the possibility that all of us right now that are considered fully vaccinated, the booster shots become available to more and more of the population. The term fully vaccinated may change to include that. So if I don't get a booster shot, there is the possibility that I could be considered not fully vaccinated. Now, this is right now is just something they are talking about. There is no guidance from the CDC yet that says you have to have the booster shot to be considered fully vaccinated, at least not yet. So we're going to keep an eye on that and see if they change that guidance because we all know how this works. If the CDC changes its guidance, and says you are now only fully vaccinated if you've had a booster shot, stuff moves downhill, that will get to the cruise lines at some point, and the cruise lines may change that requirement as well. They will follow the CDC guidance, and booster shots will be required to be fully vaccinated for these fully vaccinated cruises. But like I said, this is just something they are talking about. 
No change has actually been made. No cruise line has said you must have the booster shot. This is just something we want to keep an eye on in the future so we're not caught off guard because you know things change at the last minute sometime. You could be 30 days out from your next cruise, suddenly the guidance change and now you gotta scramble to get a booster shot. So for me, and this is just me, when the booster shot becomes available for me to go down and get one, I'm gonna go ahead and get it just cause I know how this stuff works. I don't want a last minute policy change to possibly derail my cruise. But of course that is an individual choice for everybody out there. Like I always say, you do you, you do what is best for you. That's just what I'm going to do for me to make sure that I don't get caught with my britches down here, so to speak, when it comes time to get on my next cruise. So that is the cruise news for today. Brings everybody up to date. said It has been a super quiet week in the cruise news, and hopefully it will be a super quiet remainder of 2021. I'll take all positive stories, hopefully no negative stories. But of course, if any cruise news comes out, we of course, we will always let everybody know. All right, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, do me a favor. Let's give it a thumbs up. Have yourselves a great day, and we will see you out on the high seas.